So I've had a dropshipping YouTube channel for about two years now, two whole years, and I've yet to make a video reviewing my subscribers' Shopify stores. I posted a story on Instagram saying, hey, if you want me to review your Shopify store for a YouTube video, send it to me, and I got a whole bunch of different DMs, so today we're gonna be reviewing some Shopify stores. Now guys, I gave away one free consultant call every single video, it's a 30 minute call. Last video's winner is Lei Noonan, you commented ecom. Message me on Instagram with a time you wanna set up a call and we'll get right to it. So guys, if you wanna win a free consultant call, all you have to do is one, be subscribed, two, like this video, and three, comment ecom, E-C-O-M. And that's pretty much it, you're entered to win a free consulting call. So, congratulations, Lay. You have won today's free consulting call. Now let's get right on into the video. All right, so the first website right here is called flexsportspro.com. I just opened this site and they have a 10% off offer. Now, a couple things I noticed right away is this blue doesn't match the blue of their logo. Actually, maybe it does. No, it doesn't. Two different types of blues. And it's just really bright. I'm not sure if I'd use that, especially when you're making a store, you really need to come up with a color scheme, two or three colors max, and stick to those colors. So if I had a yellow shop now button right here, I would probably have a yellow. Um, yeah, that blue is really bright. What I would probably do is I would either choose one of the other blues. I mean, this is just way too bright. And although blue and yellow does go well together, I would probably have my shop now button be blue as well. Although yellow does look really good against black. That's one thing I really like. I personally like the photos. When you pause the video and you have these photos right here, I personally like that a lot more than the video because the video is kind of blurry. I'm not sure if it's different on mobile or anything like that, but on my MacBook, it's kind of blurry. So these photos are really high quality photos. I would definitely stick to that because you don't want to have people spending too much time watching the banner video. You want them to see the announcement and either click shop now or start scrolling down. These guys are selling flex guns, these uh, muscle guns right there. I would definitely find a higher quality image. I know this is a super popular product. There are so many different images that are much higher quality than this. Guys, when people are on your website and they're looking at the product, they're gonna assume your product is as good as quality as your images. So if you have really low quality images, they're not really gonna have a lot of trust in your product and think it's a really good you know, buy. Uh, but if you have a really high quality image, that just makes your product stand out that much more. And especially if it's a $300 product, you want your images to be as crisp as possible because people, you don't want to give anybody any doubt when buying this product because they're about to spend $300. So I would definitely have a different product image right here. Um, now this is the home page. This isn't the product page right there. This is literally just the home page. Different type of flex gun. Once again, you can get a higher quality image. This is just a little bit pixelated. It's higher quality than this one but I would definitely find some other images like on Alibaba. Guys, a lot of you don't know, if you can't find any amazing images on AliExpress for the product you're selling, look up that same product on Alibaba and I'm sure you will find much, much higher quality images just because the photos on Alibaba just tend to be a lot better. So quick tip for you guys right here. This I like a lot. I like this a lot. Free shipping on all orders, 30 day money back guarantee and one year warranty. They look like links, what happens if I click them? Okay, so it goes to shipping information. Yeah, this right here I love so much. This is great. Discover the benefits, target specific muscles for increased blood flow. I would definitely make this white or a little bit brighter because that really blends in with the background, making it hard to read. Uh, once again, higher quality images, man, higher quality images. This, see, look, this is a high quality image and then this is looks like it's been copy pasted five times. Um, boost that up a little bit and you'll be good. Also, to give your homepage just a little bit more of an aesthetic feel, have some of your images on this side and text on this side and the one underneath that have your text on this side and an image on this side. Um, it just makes it a little bit more interactive and easier to, to read on your eyes. Get up to $200 off for the Elite Pro models. There's a huge space in here. I don't know what that's for. And uh, I would definitely get rid of that space. Compare devices. Good. This is pretty cool. Best quality on the market. I'm sure these are product links going to the each product. Okay, so that's what's the difference between the two. The what's the difference page is kind of confusing because uh, I'm assuming these are supposed to be split and this sentence right here kind of just goes, this just mixes in with that, meshes in with that. I don't really, I would definitely have highlights of each product on the product page instead of a this is better than that or that's better than this. Because you don't really want to tell your customers that one product is better than the other. So just have these highlighted reasons why they are good products in your product description. Your logo is pretty good. One thing you could do to make it pop out more is not have just a rectangle right here. Maybe make this guy outlined right here and then have flex sports and like a bold white text or something like that instead of a black text, white box, and then blue box around that. Um, but hey, logos are logos. If it works, it works. It's a cool logo, definitely interesting. Now let's check out the product page. I don't wanna spend too much time on each website because I just wanna quickly go through these. We have a good amount of sites lined up. So I'm going to go to the product page. Yeah, this definitely needs more photos and it definitely needs higher quality photos without a doubt. Um, 
Why should you use a flex gun? I would bring this image up. I would probably have a smaller GIF and I would bring that up here a little bit, right? Like right after here and then list the benefits right underneath that. So it's just more interactive and it's just easier because nobody's really gonna wanna read a huge chunk of text like this. They'll skim through it a little bit. They'll see a nice image of the product in use right here and then they'll be a little bit more interested and then you can read the, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six different reasons why you should buy this product. And these boxes right here, they just don't look good. White boxes like this just don't look good with black background. This is a landscape, this is just a square, and then there's just these awkward spaces in between the title and these different texts. So fix that, especially with the money back guarantee, warranty, all that stuff. Make it so it looks good with a black background, or if it doesn't look good with a black background, change it to white background and then make your text darker. I have personally never had a store with a black background. It just hasn't worked for me. And most successful stores I do see do not have a black background just because stuff like this, like it just doesn't look good to have a really white box right here with a black background. It just doesn't look like it's form fitting and it just, I mean, I'm just gonna say this a lot. It just doesn't look good. Yeah, so even like an image like this is much higher quality than this one, which is your main image for the product. So change that up and you should be good. Even, this even better, perfect, right here is great. Um, but these images just don't look good with the black background. So change that, definitely change that. I personally like carts that are its own page. I don't like this modular cart. When somebody clicks add to cart, I want them to start the checkout process unless they wanna buy more. And then I would give them upsells in the checkout. I would definitely make my cart its own page. All right, so that is the first website right here. I'm gonna exit out of that. Couple different changes right there. I don't really like black backgrounds, that's just a personal preference. If it works for you, then it works for you, but I haven't really seen it work with a lot of people, so I'm just keeping that in mind. Next site right here is called Gal X Teens, and this is a little bit better. You guys can see this has a white background. They've got different sales right here. I like this a lot, actually. This is really good. That's gross, I love it, that's funny. Look at this, so the coloring on this website is much, much better. They've got pink shop now button, they've got a pink announcement bar, they've got a pink home menu, and it all just blends in very, very nicely. So there's not like a pink and then a green and then a blue, and it, it, that just wouldn't look good. This looks really great. Now for these images, I would try to find some higher quality images because this one in particular just looks a little bit blurry, so I'd try to change that up to a higher quality image. Great homepage, now let's check out one of their product pages. I'll just click this one since it's being promoted. Really nice, this is really nice. One thing I would do though is definitely have a logo. This website doesn't have a logo, I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but they need to add a logo. It just makes your store look more branded and because without it, it just looks kind of general. You wanna stand out as much as you possibly can, especially now. So I would definitely have a logo for that, but these product photos next to each other are really, really nice. They've got a size chart, they've got quantity, color, all that kind of stuff, pink add to cart, buy it now. Personally, I don't use dynamic checkout. I just feel like not using dynamic checkout works just as well. And they've got some more product photos down below. I assume that if they had more photos, they would have more of these images next to each other right here instead of just one photo kind of just standing out there in the blue. Let's go to another another product and see if it's just this one product that I'm, or maybe I just chose the wrong one. Now the margins on these are pretty slim. I'm gonna say that right now, that's $15. I don't know how much you're getting it for, maybe $6, $7. So it's probably less than $10 profit per sale. And if you're using Facebook ads, that's gonna run up a lot of money real quickly. So maybe this is an influencer store. They've got reviews, really nice. Their reviews are high quality reviews. A lot of people just add reviews to the store and then think, okay, now that it says you know, 25 or 33 five-star reviews, they don't actually look at the actual reviews. Now, some people on AliExpress will give it a five-star review, but when you actually go ahead and read the review, it's a horrible review. They only give it a five-star review just because it would get put to the top and get viewed by everybody so make sure you actually look at your reviews and they are legitimate reviews and these are all great fabric is so uh, so soft so cool they sit perfectly blah 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 this is a really good product page now clothing is pretty self-explanatory you see what it is right here just some shorts doesn't need to be a super long description and this site does pretty well at that now let's click add to cart once again here i would have a checkout or a cart page its own page instead of this thing right here just because you can add more upsells. And a lot of upsell apps require your cart page to actually be its own page. They might have a logo. This could be a logo. That does definitely does not look like a logo. The font's different right here too, so I'd make sure it's definitely the same for your homepage and your, your cart page and your checkout page. Um, but they've got pink right here, looks great. Definitely a good website. All right, so gladnanics.com. These guys are selling electric bikes it looks like. Now it looks like these guys have a live chat, could be Tidio, yeah, Tidio live chat. Guys, if you don't know what that is, it's basically a live chat that if somebody asks a question on your website, 
it pings to your phone you can have the app on your phone and if they ask a question on the site you get the question on your phone as like a text message or something and it's really really amazing because people will be asking questions especially if you're selling products like this that are higher in price so if like if I was selling a massage gun, I would definitely have this on my site because people are gonna ask questions and maybe they wanna buy, but they just have one or two questions that they just need answers to before they purchase. And if you don't have an app like this, then you can't answer those questions and they'll find a website that does. So they have a different theme right here, not just the normal theme. Their logo is amazing, just white G with a little glide right there, Glidenetics, super cool. And their color scheme is amazing. So they've got orange, orangish yellow, uh, and this like navy blue, which goes really well together. And their product is like the same orange pretty much. So they've, so they've noticed that and they've incorporated it into their website. You got a manifesto. Now this is, this is cool. They have an actual YouTube channel. Let's see how many views this has. Open link and new tab. Okay, so they just posted it. If you wanna add more trust to your website, get a YouTube channel and start posting your ads on your YouTube channel because not only then can you post it on YouTube and maybe it'll get some views on YouTube, but it also just makes your website look so much more trustworthy and you can embed these YouTube videos to your site like we see right here. Ah, looks like they've got some custom coding, electric bikes and electric scooters. So they sell both, which is great. All this is fantastic. They, You can tell they went above and beyond with this website because high quality images, they've got maybe some custom coding. I'm not sure what this theme is actually, but um, as I scroll, you guys can see it just kind of pops into place. They also have probably afterpay, so you can pay every month instead of just one lump sum payment, which is great, especially for higher priced products. This is amazing. Could be a deal breaker right there. Now let's click on, blah, 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 they've got a phone number all there. Let's click on shop now, see what they have, and look at one of their product pages. So let's just check out the glide board. And this is, their product page is really cool. They've got a really nice image right here. Their coloring is great. I'm not sure what this huge space right here is for, um, but I would definitely have some more images maybe down below that you could scroll through on your website. They've got a video, of course they have a video, you know, and they have these images down below. So they've chosen to put their images down below instead of up top, that's fine. If somebody's interested, they're gonna scroll anyways and they will see all these different, all these different images. Now, what logo is that on the page? It says, Max fine, okay, I'm not sure what that is. Remote control, replaceable tire skin. Yeah, they've gone above and beyond with their product page because this is just amazing, you know, it's really high quality images. Now, I don't see any like description or text for this one product. Besides this right here, it'd be nice to have like a little paragraph or two just describing the product. Not a huge deal. They've pretty much gone ahead and incorporated everything, all the important information right here into this little description. Add to cart button right here. $547, these guys don't have their own cart page. Basic Shopify checkout, same coloring as their theme before. They've got their logo right there. That just looks so good. That's a solid logo, like clean logo. Whoever did this, good job. All right, moving on to the next store, shopjeanandrory.com. I would have a higher quality banner right here, maybe make it a little bit smaller, just because it kind of gets pixelated. Now, one thing that you need to remember is, I didn't even know you had a main menu but you do, you do have a main menu, except everything's just white. So when somebody's at the top of their page, they're just not gonna see that. And they're gonna see just transparent, there's there's text right here, let's see if I can, boom. See, there's text right there, you just can't see that. So make sure that either this is a sticky menu, so you can't just not see any of the stuff, it's hidden. I think you're using Debutify, and that's super simple, just go ahead and make sure that sticky menu is there, and it's not a transparent menu. Um, because now I see this, but before I didn't. They're selling apparel. Okay, maybe some of these tees just haven't been updated on their price. Looks like these are all $24.99 and there's one that's $7.96. That looks like maybe it's the AliExpress price, who knows? But I would definitely make your product prices all pretty much match. Um, not the same price, but just like the ending, like $99, $95, 97 Whatever you're gonna do, just make sure all your price, all your products basically have the same formatting. That is a high quality image right there. I like that a lot. Uh, whoever made that, good job. Um, looks like you're using Debutify right there. You can get rid of this right here, theme by Debutify and powered by Shopify. You can get rid of that in the coding. Just look up on YouTube how to do that real quick. All right, let's click on one product and see what their product page setup looks like. So it looks like you have radio buttons. If I were to have this many options, I would have a drop down menu just because it just takes up too much space. Secure and trusted checkout. Make sure this is centered. Make sure this is centered. You have two of them actually. You don't need two. You've got one right here and you've got another one right here. I'd probably keep this one, looks just a little bit cleaner, and I'd get rid of this one. You can definitely work on your descriptions. Although clothing doesn't need a big description, it can definitely be a lot better than this. Maybe this isn't your best selling product or a product you're promoting at all. 
so it may not be a big deal, but if somebody's gonna scroll through your website and they see one product that they like, whether it's a t-shirt, especially if it's clothing, they're probably gonna look at other stuff to buy too, because why not? If they see another design they like and they're gonna buy one shirt, might as well buy another shirt with it. Especially if you can give them some incentive and give them like a discount, like a 10, 15, 20% discount, something like that. Now for your checkout, you can definitely make your logo a little bit bigger. This is definitely the basic Debutify coloring right here, I can tell. Um, so just change that to green and you'll be all set. So all in all, this is a great site. Good job. MyDivinePlan.com is our next site. I would have a logo. First thing I noticed right there, you need a logo. Not a lot of people are going to be on your main page unless they return customers or they're waiting, you know, if they're coming back to your site for whatever reason. You're sending most people to your product page, so that's what really matters. So let's click on shop now. Pretty clean, no trust badges, nothing like that. I would probably have a trust badge or some reviews or something like that. Now they're not doing compared at price, which is actually something I've been testing out a lot more recently. People are getting used to the 50% off, 60% off, 80% off marked up prices. Not having a sale price makes it look a little bit more brand worthy. All right, this website is called slapsunnies.com. The Slap Sunnies, I'm not sure what theme this is. They don't have a main menu. They've got an account section, so maybe there's a subscription service or something. But I would have a main menu, especially if I was selling stuff. They describe the product, design, our secret, uh, and they have the actual product form, but with no description. Add a description, add some kind of description like that. I'm gonna click here. Are there any description? I can't even click on the product page. Interesting, very interesting. Um, let's click add to cart, let's click slap sunnies, and then we'll go to the actual product page. There we go, now we can find it. See, they have their description in the product page, but I would not be able to get there just from the home page. There's no main menu or anything like that. I had to go to cart and then click on the actual product and go back to it. So make sure you have that link accessible on your home page or else people are just not gonna see it. This right here is amazing, explains the product perfectly in like two seconds. They've got another gift right here, just slap it on your wrist. This is a product description that I can stand behind. I would add maybe a little trust badge or some reviews or something right here. A lot of open space right here, you can definitely get rid of this. I don't know what theme they're rocking right now, but I wouldn't have this right here. I'd bring this up to the top. Their logo here is different than their main page, their, their home page. So now I'd also make this centered because it's not centered right now, it's just off, off to the left side. So definitely center that. All right, this website's called switchtrunks.co. Clean background, clean banner. I like this a lot. Be very careful using other people's product videos and brand videos because there's another website called Switch Trunks or something like that. Same exact name. They're the official Switch Trunks. I'm pretty sure I spoke to the person on Instagram about this. Be very, very careful, especially if you're going to use their videos for ads because they will DMCA you very fast. And if they take your ads down on Facebook, Facebook could take your page away. You can get hit with an advertising status ban or temporary ban. You could get banned from making pages on Facebook. And it's just not a pretty thing to do. You'll get the backhand from Facebook if somebody goes ahead and claims that you're using their content for advertisement. So please just keep that in mind. You got the Tidy right here. I love that. Uh, favorite purchase ever, Aqua Trunks. This right here is amazing. Happy customer, 24 seven customer service, free shipping. Email address, search. Uh, I don't see any like terms of service or anything like that. Maybe it's in the front. Yeah, so I'd have a shipping policy, terms of service, privacy policy, and refund policy. Those are pretty much necessary. Um, you can get your Shopify store taken down if you don't have those, especially if you have unhappy customers and especially if you're using other people's videos. So Switch Trunks trademarked, sketchy, sketchy. There's another Switch Trunks out there. So this right here literally describes the product. If it's aqua, changes from blue to green on water. This person has not gone ahead and changed their logo on their checkout page. You need to do that. And same for coloring. I don't know what your coloring is on your main homepage. So this logo should be on your checkout page and this coloring should be your shipping or continue to shipping button. So a lot of people just forget about that. They think that all your coloring is on the advanced settings or the color section of your uh, theme customization part, but it's not. Your checkout is actually its own section and it has its own coloring when you're customizing your theme. So you need to make sure you go into the actual checkout section, add your logo and change the coloring. All right, moving on to the next site, getmespoon.com. Very interesting name, Get Me Spoon. Deal of the day, track order, contact us. What's the deal of the day? Actually, let's check out the homepage before we click deal of the day. This is good. I like how they have one image on this side and then another image on this side. They got the Facebook Messenger right here. Maybe make your images just a little bit smaller so there's not a lot of space in between them. Right here, that's a lot of space, a lot of scrolling. Um, they do a good job at that. Uh, get rid of this right here. 
ships from the United States, you don't need that. That's just not necessary at all. To get rid of that, all you have to do is go to your products section of your Shopify admin, click on this product, and then you're on the page where you can edit the title and edit the description and all that stuff, and edit the variants. Go down to edit your variant, and make sure you click on edit variants, and then click the little trash can next to ships from the United States. Now this is a really, really fat trust badge right here, and there's some space between the buy now button and the trust badge. I would bring this up, and I would use a different trust badge. This looks like any other generic trust badge, and I would make sure to change that. Uh, your product images though are really nice. These are some really high quality images. You've got a video right here, let's click the video. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. It's clean, you've got a long description, five point happy checklist. You've got some urgency right here, we'll sell it fast. You've got a video down below, which is amazing. Shows the product in use with a YouTube channel. I love that, I love that a lot. And your descriptions are great. I would get rid of some of these different spaces and I'd maybe add this right here down below or up top. You don't need to have this multiple times, just once in a bright color text and you're all set. Uh, features, this is great. Specifications, great. And our guarantee, this is great. Let's see if they have the same logo, Get Me Spoon, uh, in their checkout than they do. They don't, okay, so they don't. You need to do that and it looks like you have the very basic checkout setup. You haven't done anything to that as well. You guys need to make sure you're editing your checkout section. It takes 10 seconds. It really doesn't take that much time at all to set up your checkout page. Just add your image right here and then change your accent coloring and your button coloring to the coloring you choose before that's on the rest of your website. Once you do that, that's literally it. You're set and you don't have to do anything else for your checkout. All right, final Shopify store we're checking out for this video. It's called shopwham.com. They don't have their own logo. It looks like they got an account set up. This is the Debutify theme. Uh, this is their homepage. Looks like they're selling a wide variety of products. Maybe this is their main product. Uh, they haven't really changed any of the coloring. Now, some of these products have really weird price points, like $1.32. I don't know why you'd want that on your site. I wouldn't want anybody buying a dollar product off my site. Also, if it says ships from China, no, no you don't want that. If you're going to have a ships from China and ships from the United States, make sure it says Instead of ships from China, make sure it says shipping option and then do international and then United States. So they can choose either international shipping or United States shipping. Don't do ships from because nobody's gonna wanna click ships from China. It just, it's not a thing. $1.32, you're not gonna make any money from that. You're gonna be losing money for each order. Maybe this product you just don't care about, but this is the AliExpress description. You could probably lose money having products like this listed on your site. So be very careful because this might be lower than the AliExpress price, and then somebody can go ahead and purchase 100 units, and it's gonna cost you a good, a good amount of money to fulfill that. So it looks like the car vacuum cleaner is their top seller. They've got ships from the United States. See, this is their only option. If it's your only option, you don't need to have that at all. Just get rid of that in your, your product variant section, delete it, and have only colors. The descriptions are just Horrible. You need to put more effort into your descriptions. The one we saw like five seconds ago of the poor vacuum had a great description, had images. Yeah, see, this is a fantastic description. You might have copy pasted it from another website, most likely. Put as much effort into your other product descriptions as you did with this. Even if it's copy pasting off another website, just at least copy paste an actual product description. Anything is better than the AliExpress description you have on your other product. So keep that in mind. Now, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this website. Let's click checkout. Let's see if they, they they don't have a logo on their main page. They don't have one on the checkout either. Now, I'm not, if this is your website, I'm sorry. You've got a lot of work to do. Um, just check out any of the, there's so many videos out there on how you set up a Shopify store. I have a video I'll put right here if you're interested in how I set up some of my Shopify stores. Click that link up above and it will be very useful for you. All right, guys, that sums up for today's video. Uh, we reviewed a whole bunch of Shopify stores. I hope I could give you guys some good insight. A lot of them are really good. A lot of them are really, really good Shopify stores. They just need a little bit of tweaking here and there. Um, there were a couple that needed a lot of work, like this last one we just checked out. Everyone starts somewhere. I remember, I remember my first Shopify store did not look good at all. The more time you spend on Shopify just tweaking things and learning about it, the better your Shopify store will become. So that sums it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you have not. And if you're interested in an A to Z step-by-step -step program, BairdStrudwick.com. Link will be in the description down below and message me on Instagram if you have any questions about that or any questions in general whatsoever. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, be safe, peace out.